day everyone! To celebrate Booktubeathon 2018 coming up, I thought it was about time I made another video. So who, here is my uh, possible TBR for Booktubeathon. It's still a couple weeks out, so I'm not sure if I'm going to land on any of these for sure, but I have a pretty good idea of what I do, what I want to do for all of the challenges. So, um, here we go. First off, um, the ch one of the challenges was to do a coin toss to choose your first book. And so I have this Italian 200 liar, liar Lear, I don't know how to pronounce it, piece, that I'm going to use. Can't really see that. But it has, does it have a head on one side, so I'm going to use it for my coin toss. And it'll be between my book to movie adaptation um, challenge book, which will be Tuck Everlasting. I've seen the movie before, but I don't think I've ever read the book. So I've been wanting to read it, and especially since the musical came on on Broadway like last year, a couple years ago, I really liked the music. And so I've really been wanting to read the book for the first time, and it's pretty short, so I think it'll be a good one to do. I can um, read the book and then rewatch the movie because I haven't seen the movie in forever, and that will be good. So, um, the coin toss challenge will be between Took Everlasting and probably the Jungle Book because this covers the beautiful spine challenge because look at that. I love these Barnes & Noble Classics editions. These are my favorite Barnes & Noble editions. And it also covers the challenge for green on the cover and also covers the challenge for something I would like to do because I think it would be cool to visit the jungle. Hopefully not running into any snakes or tigers, but it would be cool to visit the jungle because I haven't really done that before. So this covers quite a few challenges, so I definitely want to get started on this early in the week if I can. So I will be coin flipping for you now between these two books, The Jungle Book or Tuck Everlasting. So here goes, I got my little coin flip it, and let's see if I can catch it, probably not. Ooh, ah! Okay, I think that was Tails. So, um, the Jungle Book was the one I mentioned second, so I guess that will be the one I start before Tuck Everlands, uh, Tuck Everlasting. So I'm kind of sad about that because I have, you know, I'm going to need time to read the book and watch the movies. I was kind of hoping to start that one first, but this is the winner winner chicken dinner. So I will, and this will complete three challenges also if I re finish it. So that will be good. That will be good to start with. And what else? Um, oh, so I'll show you some of the other books I'm thinking about reading because I have some library books that are due that week that I want to get read. And so for the Wear Your Hat Challenge, this is my fedora hat that I always feel super cool while I'm wearing it, like a little Broadway star. So I'm going to be wearing this for one of these books, I haven't really decided, maybe be all of them, because it's a cool hat. Um, but yeah, this is my hat, and here are some of the other books I might be reading during Book Jubathon. Um, first we have... Next we have this book called The Psy, which um, I gather is by the uh, same author that did Chrysopolis, um, Marjane Sotropi, Sotropi, I'm sorry that I'm pronouncing that name wrong, probably, um, but it seems like it's just a really short, like, children's, like, fairy tale esque story, so I think that's going to be really quick read, and it also has a beautiful cover. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also want to get to Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. Shannon McGuire, Susan McGuire. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. And these books are also really quick and short. And I've been enjoying these. This is the third book in the series. And um, that should be an interesting time. I also have the Titans DC uh, Universe Rebirth graphic novel volume 1, The Return of Wally West that I need to read from the library, and these are pretty quick as well, so this should be a good time. So, sorry for the shit, by the way, 
I'm holding this up because I am lazy and don't want to figure out a better setting for a tripod or anything. And then I also have from the library um, Skip Beat uh, Anibis Volumes 16, 17, and 18 by Yoshiki Nakamura. I've been slowly um, reading these from the library for a while now, so every once in a while I'll pick, I'll pick one of these up and get a little skip beat going on. Um, this is a manga, Japanese, um, basically comic, so you read right to left instead of left to right, and I'm really into that, so I'm a it. So, yeah, these are all the books watch. It should be a good time. I hope you guys are planning on joining us for book two with on 2018. It's going to be super fun and I will see you during book two with on for another video hopefully. Bye!